Welcome to Vancouver Business Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I am Roger Killen, the organizer. This talk is brought to you by Ion Connect. This state-of-the-art co-working space and tech lab helps grow innovative ideas from applied research and development, testing and engineering qualification to commercialization and market launch. Our speaker is Paddy McGill. Paddy has a decade of experience in affiliate marketing, sales, partnerships, online courses, webinars, and virtual summits. Paddy advises creators on how to generate tens of thousands of leads and sales for their online courses. Vancouver Business Network members and most welcome guests, it's now time for you to put your hands together and give a rousing VBN welcome to the one and only Patty Miguel. Roger, thank you. Thank you so much. What an amazing introduction. I'm first of all just completely blown away to be standing here in front of everyone and for everyone that's joined us uh, um, on the replay as well. Thank you so so much. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be going into a five-step uh, course creation blueprint. And uh, again, we just want to, oh, there we go. Uh, one of the things we're going to be talking about today is, like, is, cre is creating online courses. And it's going to be everything. It's going to be everything you need to know. It's, it's about an hour's worth of content. And um, it's going to be the five, essentially a five-step process. So there's a lot of people that have already said uh, today during, the, um, during like, the question and answers and the asks uh, that they've been trying to figure out how to create a course how to actually get it onto the platform, how to even find your niche. We're going to cover all that off. So who's this training for? Um, so maybe you want to help more people already without trading your, your time for money. Maybe you're selling your expertise as a, a speaker, an author, a coach, um, or a trainer. Or maybe you're already helping people on a one-on-one -on -one basis and you want to help them at scale. Or maybe you want to have, a, have more reach, help more people overseas, uh, or wherever it is that you want to, you want to place yourself. So why should you create an online course? Um, there's a couple of really, really good reasons why. When you, and when you trade your time for money, you're gonna run out of it really quickly. Now, we're not all like Elon Musk, who can definitely work 22 hours a day and then go, go back to bed. I need at least 20 hours beauty sleep, so my day is only like four hours long. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, my, my, I, I've definitely challenged as well. So there's a couple of things you can do when you wanna trade your time for money, a couple of things you can do, okay? So the first one is you can raise your prices. And a lot of people already that are charging for their courses, their, um, for their consultation services, for their, even for their books or any other digital programs are probably not charging enough right now. So you can actually, I would say that you've got one or two opportunities to raise your prices um, to, and, and actually start spiking up your revenue. But it's not something you can do um, a lot of, and it's not something you can do every single time. A lot of people tend to charge their product based on like their hourly rate. So if you're already, you know, charging say fifty dollars an hour for your consultation and services, they might say, well, you know, that's been eight hours times fifty. That's four hundred bucks. That's not really pricing on the outcome that you want to deliver someone. So start thinking about what is it? What's the outcome that I'm giving to someone? What is that really worth to someone? So if you can save them like thousands, thousands, and thousands of dollars, and you're only maybe charging four hundred dollars it's maybe time to, uh, to rethink it. Um, next is you can hire to help more people. And uh, we mentioned this uh, just before we went live, um, that you know, outsourcing as well is, is a really, really great way of maximizing your time. Uh, you can also hire more people to help you uh, maximize your tasks and do the things that you don't want to do. Um, but again, hiring people can definitely be tricky. And, uh, you know, and if, you don't like, if you don't like people and you don't like working with people, for example, you like doing things your way, then um, that's not going to help you out. So there's a third way that you can, that there's a third thing that you can do, and that's where you like you create leverage and you separate yourself from your time by creating a digital product. And, uh, and the online courses, membership sites, digital products is the way to leverage yourself from uh, your time to maximize the revenue that's coming through. So again, a couple of reasons why you should be creating courses. Uh, and there's definitely some people have already mentioned this uh, earlier today. Um, it's a great way to attract and nurture new leads. So John Lee Dumas, um, uh, Podcasters Paradise, uh, he teaches people how to uh, you know, create and start 
their own uh, online biz business and podcast. He does that through the Think of It platform and he offers a free course. And then from there, you're then further upsold into a, a marketing funnel where you are then given more great advice, premium advice for free, and then um, you can then go on through to a premium course. Yes. The word course sometimes gets people stuck in thinking about a classroom. And I'd be just interested to hearing the spectrum of training education, these digital deliverables. Yeah. So, so the question is, um, you know, uh, it's, in, it, it's in, in, Ingrid. Yeah, so Ingrid asked, um, you know, she'd be keen to hear more about not just online courses, but digital products as a whole. And, you know, you have all sorts of digital products can be classed as multiple things. So membership sites, you've got eBooks, webinars, uh, even like um, downloadable worksheets and guides. So, um, you know, even part of the bonus that we've got later on um, in this presentation is that we've got, you know, a masterclass that everyone can take. So there's a whole host of different things that can be classified as a digital product. And again, not like we said, not just a digital course. Great, great point. Thank you very much. Um, and next, um, online courses and digital products as a whole are a great way to uh, add value to your services. So if you're currently, let's say if you're currently speaking on stage and uh, you're charging for your services, you can also throw in additional training, an additional academy or additional, uh, additional um, recordings of your talk as a way to boost your value. So you could say to maybe the organizer, so not only am I going to do the talk for X thousands, X hundreds of dollars or millions of dollars for Gary V, <laughs> then you can, you can say, I'm also going to throw in access to my academy that's worth this much thousands of dollars. And um, I've seen it work really, really well. I've, I've done a webinar with a company called eSpeakers, which is like an online um, speaking network and platform. And a lot of their, the speakers on that network now are also using courses as a way to boost their, um, their value. Again, as a, a sort of a personal thing, course is a great way to earn extra revenue. And that could be also by like the leads that it generates. But once you, the great thing is once you've created a course or a digital product once, you can do it time and time and time again. And so, uh, you know, once you've, once you've done it, you've, you've invested that time into it, you know, it's, it's gonna hit a profit very, very quickly. Um, and something that a lot of other businesses do, certainly tech startups, so I'm gonna use Thinkific like ourselves, we have an online course. We help train our, our customers, train our staff into using our product and uh, how to get the most out of it. So using the course isn't necessarily just about making money. It's about how can you also help um, those level up. So if you're doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching and maybe you're just having to repeat the same things time and time and time again, you think to yourself, well, actually, you know, I wish I just didn't have to go through this process. Um, this like <laughs> it's a good happened there. So if you don't have to go through this qualification process, or you know, uh, fill in this form, or fill in these, uh, fit, you know, fill in these these stages of um, of an application, you can make that as part of an online course. So something to consider, and again, it's going to free up a lot of the time, um, you know, that you're going to have because again, when you when you run out of time, when you're trading time for money, you're going to run out of it. So. The five step blueprint is as follows. And the first thing you've got to do is you've got to pick a course topic. And um, this is really, really essential. And a course topic isn't just something uh, that is, you know, I'm just going to teach uh, how to do affiliate marketing. Um, it's got to be a course that someone is essentially willing to put their card down and uh, swipe their card or pay cold hard cash. So think of it like the example uh, so just before we went live, we were talking about how you can come to you know, investing and paying for a ticket at a meetup. Is important because you're getting sort of skin in the game as they as they as they say it's very much a similar thing when you're when you're picking a course topic it has to be something that people will put their card down and, uh, and buy from you so what can you do there's a couple of things you can do here and it, and it works into three areas so you've got to start with your passion okay so it's got to be something that you you're passionate about and that you like because when you have that it's the grit it's the grit that you have that's the prerequisite to success because if you don't actually even like what it is you're teaching or what you're doing and I guess this goes through for all things within you know an entrepreneur an, an entrepreneur's life uh, if you don't like it then you're probably not going to want to do it or when times get bad you're not gonna you're definitely not gonna bother sticking through so it's got to be something you like doing next you've got to follow your expertise so where you know what is it that what's that number one question that so I always say this to everyone they're trying to figure out what what their expertise is or what their first course topic could be is what is your number what's the number one question that people always coming up to you and asking for help with start from there 
So if you are well known for helping people to, um, uh, Rachel, so Rachel in the crowd here, she, she helps people, uh, helps female entrepreneurs uh, unstick themselves, um, stop you know, getting flustered in their business and help them live a uh, more uh, healthier and better lifestyle. She already you knows, she's already got an expertise and people are always going to come up to and say, hey, Rachel, how can I like just figure my, how do I figure my stuff out? How do I eat better? How can I serve more clients? So you've got to, if you're always getting asked those same, those same questions time and time again, start, start jotting them down. So, you know, everyone, everyone that joined this live back has got a book. So start thinking about that. What's that number one question you're always, always getting asked and on a repeated basis? The next is market demand, okay? You've got to figure out that there is market demand for what you teach. You may well have the ultimate, the ultimate course about a particular type or subject, um, but if there's no one out there actually even searching for it or who wants to learn it, then you're gonna waste your time. And that's like the single biggest mistake that a lot of entrepreneurs make is that they don't um, necessarily, excuse me, they don't necessarily go out and validate the, uh, you know, the, their course topic first. So what I want to do is a quick exercise here, um, which is uh, we're going to actually work through a course topic together. So um, once you've got your course topic, this is going to become your value proposition. And again, this is very similar to figuring out what your, even your elevator pitch is uh, as a business or as an entrepreneur. And it's going to be some normal science. So my course on the topic helps audience or the, the people I'm looking to serve learn how to get the outcome that they want so they can get the benefit that they're looking for. So I'm gonna use for, uh, I'm gonna just use an example that I always use. So uh, my course on Instagram marketing helps um, new real estate agents or new realtors learn how to do their first Instagram ad so they can get more listings. So key things here, got a clearly defined topic on what your, on what, what it is that you're an expert on the audience, and again, niching down specifically into who. It can't just be, you know, I help entrepreneurs, you know, live a better life. It has to be very specific. So again, start thinking about your target customer. Who is it that is that's coming up to you time and time again? Is it a female entrepreneur of, of a certain age category? Are they in a certain line of business? You know, start really trying to niche down, niche down <laughs> from my, my side of the pond. Um, Niche down, it's really, really important. Then you can start to find your blue ocean and work your way up. So find your audience. Uh, think about the outcome as well. This is super important. And not a lot of people really think about this. Um, and I'm going to use like a really personal example here. I'm, uh, I'm getting married. Some of you may know I'm getting married at the end of, uh, at the end of November. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I'm getting married in November. So I'm, I'm doing everything I can to get into shape. So what I'm doing... <laughs> <laughs> and it's not working. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see six months or so six months. If I'm doing another, another one of these, we'll see how much my face has changed. But I was said to Roger when we was filming, I was like, just make sure it's all about up here when, uh, when we're videoing. But I'm, you know, I don't go out there and just say, I want to just buy a, you know, a diet plan. You know, I just want to go search for diet plan. I'm looking for an outcome. So what's the outcome? Like I want to, I want to look amazing. So I look the best I could possibly ever be on my wedding day. So it's a really like tangible, example that's going to again address a particular pain point of mine which is you know quite overweight and i need to look amazing on my wedding day photos what's the, what's the point in between that i need to find uh you know a plan or a diet or, or a program that's going to help me so a couple of examples here this is chris newman senior shop at university so uh he is like quintessentially the guy that found that sort of that 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 trifecta he was a um he was someone who basically teaches how to uh, he had a sorry a passion for flying drones. He was working in the film industry, and then he, a lot of people, he was starting to do these like shots with drones, and people were saying to him, "Hey, how did you actually like? How do you actually do that?" So the same question time and time again: How do you get these like sweeping shots over, um, you know, over the car, for example? How did you do that? And he realized that he found he realized that there was a lot of people in his particular industry. So he had a really niche industry: filmmakers in the movie and the TV scene. Um, he realized he had his niche and his target audience and then he created a course on how to do it. And I think he sells this course for like 1500 US, what's that, a million Canadian? So, no, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite a lot of money. So, 
let's work for these examples. A mic course on drone cinematography helps videographers learn how to offer drone video services so they can make their businesses stand out. I uh, want to give a quick shout out to Mimi G, Sew Academy. Uh, her course on sewing helps DIY enthusiasts learn how to sew their own clothes so they can become more self-sufficient. Jonathan Levy, become a super learner. If you want to memorize a million decks of card at once, cards at once, this is, the, this is the guy to go and do it. He's got a lot of other stuff, but he has some really, really cool tricks. So he uh, teaches memory skills. So his course on memory skills helps business professionals and students learn how to learn more in less time so they can improve themselves faster. So question to you always, we can share this after. And if you're watching this now on the replay, get this into the comments. What's your winning topic? I'm gonna put it out there. If anyone wants to put, if anyone wants to be brave enough to put their hands up, I'll be uh, happy to uh, do it. Oh, Rachel. Healthy living. Your topic's gonna to be on healthy living. Confidence, healthy living. You got it. And what else? So thinking about the structure that we had even before. So your course on, so let's work, work back here. So oh. your course on healthy living helps rest women entrepreneurs. Yeah. Learn how to optimize their productivity so they can own their life and business. Okay, so we're gonna try and remember that. Like that. So my, so yeah, this, <laughs> so, so Rachel's course on um, productivity, uh, healthy, healthy, healthy living helps female stressed out female entrepreneurs learn how to optimize, optimize their, health. their health so they can. Own their life and business. Own their life and business. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> and yes, at the back. My course of living abroad helps people who want to move to another country learn how to put that to use there so they can enjoy a smooth and successful experience. Okay, that is re that's actually spot on. So I just want to make sure I, can, I do this justice and remember it. So your course on uh, moving, abroad moving abroad helps people who want to move to another helps people who move to another country learn how to move cheaper faster and easier learn cheaper learn how to move cheaper faster and easier so they can enjoy a smooth and successful experience so they can enjoy a smooth and successful experience for themselves and their family for themselves and family congratulations thank you very much yes uh, what on career we are in So that they can fall in love with their work. Okay, so my course on uh, career career changing. Career reorientation, career reorientation helps um, employees or people looking to change their look. Unengaged at work. Unengaged at work. To create a meaningful and fulfilling career. To create a meaningful and fulfilling career. So that they can fall in love with their work life. So they can fall in love with their work life. Fantastic. So uh, after this, uh, I'll be more than happy to listen to more of your topics and see where I can help as well. So, whizzing on through, what's the winning course topic? I've just done it one. Uh, we're now going to talk about probably, in my eyes, the most important, the most important piece of this, um, and it's validating your validating the market demand. Like, how do you actually figure out that people want to buy your course? Because again, we don't necessarily want to spend. And I know there's already people I've spoken to here earlier today have already spent weeks, possibly months, creating their course without validating this market demand. So this is really the step that everyone needs to take. And for everyone that's joined us on the replay, I really encourage you to make sure that you spend, this is where you spend the most time, validating your course. So don't rely on these hunches, don't rely on your hunches, okay? Don't think, you know, this is a course I think someone wants to buy from me. This, you know, go out and prove that there's market demand. Okay, and there's a couple of ways, now there's lots, I could talk about this for a whole hour, but these are the, the key things that I want you to start noting down, okay? So the first one is social media listening. So if you're not in, you know, if you're not doing a lot of work on social media, if you're not in social media, if you're not in groups, if you're not in network, uh, you know, online networks, LinkedIn is fast becoming like the place to go and do business right now. Uh, in particular, if you're gonna be posting video content, go out and join communities and go and figure out, go find the people that are congregating around the topic that you're currently interested in. So if you're teaching people like female, Rachel, if you're teaching people how to, uh, female entrepreneurs, how to live better, jump into female entrepreneurship groups online. Start listening to the questions that people ask you. You know, I've just, I've got two kids and they're driving me, driving me crazy and I can never get time to, you know, sort of work on my business. I'm always working in it. 
I don't know how to, you know, eat properly. And I'm just, you know, I'm eating baked beans on toast every day. That's my diet plan. And uh, <laughs> it's working. It's not working out well so far. Too much cheese. But um, you know, you've got you know, get into those communities and start asking what, like, what you know, what's what's the problem? What are your problems? What can I help you with? And start you know, giving value up front and start helping. You know, start helping people. Don't say, by the way, here's my answer and uh, here's a link to my paid course. That doesn't that doesn't work, right? We need to we need to like build up an authentic relationship. So by you joining these communities and helping people, this is the way to do it. Ingrid. If you're wanting to offer a course in something that's typically done in person, let's uh -huh. say basketball coaching, how do you determine what the online course demand is? Like, do you have to track it online or do you talk to people in person? Okay, great, it's a great question. Ingrid's question is how can you figure out if there's, if, you're, if you've always taught offline, and you want to perhaps take this online how can you figure out that there's going to be demand online so like so yes you could jump into online communities but i would also uh start talking with your current you know, your current customers um and looking at you know if you're always let's say if you're always helping financial services organizations uh and i know ingrid you you help people with their uh you know their e-learning um e-learning off out there learning offline and building course curriculum so if you if you do that then go and speak to them and say hey you know which other you know, what other businesses uh, do you think I could I could help with, or do you know I could help, or join more meetups, more associations? It's a good way to stay. Because what you're doing right now, you're, you're trying to gather information to see if people are even talking about your course. Um, next, again, is ask your audience. So for those that have got even the smallest of lists, and I'll show you an example in a minute of what, what works really well with Dory Clark. Get in touch with them, ask them. What is it you, what, what's, what one of the major challenges that you're facing with your course right now? You're gonna have to excuse me for a moment. I'm gonna take my glasses off because they just keep slipping now. <laughs> I got them specifically for today's thoughts. I can't see, I can't see what's on the slides. I'm not allowed to look, okay. not allowed to look there. So, um, <laughs> so when you've got, when you've got to ask your audience, okay, you've got to figure out what it is, what it is that they want. You know, if you've already got a network of people that are keen and hungry to learn from you, or maybe they've opted into your mailing list. Maybe you've not spoke to them for a long time. Drop them a note. Hey, you haven't, you know, I'm thinking of creating some content or a course around this particular topic. What challenges do you have about this topic that I can help you with? I'm gonna use a, another example on this in just a sec. Next, great one here, competitor research. Whoa, Paddy, I don't wanna be in a market that has loads of competition. Well, actually, if you have competition in your market, and you know that's just a sign that people actually want to pay for your course. So uh, I know before we went live, we were talking about Udemy as a marketplace. That's like actually the golden place to go and do your market research, especially if you're, if you're creating a course, a digital product, or even a membership site. Jump into Udemy and start searching for the, the, the topics that you're, that, you know, you're currently looking to help uh, people in. So again, if you're talking about helping female entrepreneurs or helping people live a better lifestyle, someone, you know, get, get in shape for their wedding, go and do a search and start looking at the courses, read the reviews. Um, same thing, jump into Amazon and start understanding what, what is it that people are loving about the course or the book, or you know, even if you go and buy a competitor's course, that spend too much money, just a little bit. Maybe see if they've got a promo code laying around. But go, the idea is that you go take their course and then you really try and figure out where is it that my experience, where is it that my story can really one up that particular that person's particular course and pay attention pay attention again to everything that's like you know it was a great course but it just didn't solve the problem of x or y or z because so that's where again that's solving a really usually a major pain issue uh, for people um next you can pre-sell your course so i'm going to use an example now from dory clutch so she pre-sells her course um through the think of it platform and um this is where you basically create a course outline set a, let's say like a, a deadline for um for enrollment pre-enrollment so you can say hey access to this course is going to be priced at x percent off um but sign up now before you know before that that disappears i'm going to use this example this is dory Clark, coach speaker author blogger all around uh, amazing person and um she had uh, an email list and she emailed her audience and said hey there i'm thinking of creating a uh, what no let's say i've What's the single biggest challenge you're facing in your career right now? Because she's, she's like a, a, a branding and reinvention specialist. 
So people got back to me and said, yeah, I'm just, I'm just struggling trying to make myself stand out or trying to reinvent myself so I can find uh, you know, new business or, or help more people. So she got, um, got a bit of feedback. I think it was like 50 people or so. If I, if I remember right, I can't see the notes now, so we're just going to wing it this time. Um, <laughs> so it's very kind of so she got like She got a list of people that got back to me and said, hey, you know, this is, these are the sorts of challenges that I'm facing right now. Okay. She then built out a course outline. So she spared, spared her readers. She asked them a question. She outlined a course topic, uh, the outline and the initial price. And then she dropped them an email and said, hey, I've got, this is a, everyone, everyone that's already got back to me and said, um, I'm thinking of creating, you know, I want to know how I can rebrand myself for my business. She reached out to me and said, hey, this is a course that I've outlined. It's going to be, would you pay $500 for this course? And she got a response and people said, actually, yes, I would 100% pay $500 for that course. So she followed up for feedback. She worked with them live. Um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, she actually gave them access to this particular course free of charge. So the ones that gave her the very, very first response got that as like a beta, sort of pre-beta test. Then she followed up for feedback through this, through these like live sessions that she was uh, that she was hosting on how to rebrand yourself. Um, she created a sales page and check out through Thinkific. She launched the page to the rest of her list, and she made twenty-two and a half k. So again, quite an astonishing amount of money. And she pre-sold only like 45. So, you know, a lot of people probably think, you know, you need to sell millions and millions of dollars. Uh, you know, you need to have a, you know, a course that's worth like 10 bucks. And to get to a million dollars, you need to sell, you know, send quite, sell quite a lot of them. You know, again, think of an outcome that people are looking for and test it with them and ask them, what would you, what would you pay? So there's a lot more, there's a lot more things to this when it comes to pricing, but uh, one of the bonuses we've got near the end as well, we've got a, a whole course on how to price your course um, as well. So, okay, so hands up everyone. Everyone's watching the replay uh, and hopefully no one's fallen asleep yet. Hands up, make me a promise. Do not go out and create a course without validating that people want to buy from you first. So can everyone please make me that promise? I want to see you show our hands. Oh, Excellent, I'm thank you. <laughs> Thanks everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that's a phase of a that's that's great so uh this is good so this is this is now where we're going to start creating the lessons okay so there's a lot of people in here today that always said they want to know how they actually figure this out and uh i know there's gonna be a lot of hands up already saying who's got stuck before so i know if you've been thinking how do i okay yes you've, you've definitely been stuck before i just don't know how to make a lesson plan okay yeah. I, this is this is Honestly, even for me, like uh, I just, I, I, if I can get this, I know everyone else here watching, my, uh, watching the replay and everyone joining us live can do this. So it's a couple of things that you can do. Okay, so why is it, why is it that people buy courses? Okay, and again, using my obvious example of me trying to look, trying to look away, uh, amazing with my wedding day photos. All right, I'm current reality, so overweight. I want to look amazing with my wedding day photos, okay? That's the desired future I'm looking for. That's the desired future. That's the desired outcome that I want. Okay, so to the goal of a course creator, and, and your goal as course creators would be to shortcut my transformation. I don't want, and, as, and I can definitely testify this, I don't want to spend lots and lots of time looking at a course that's not going to give me the fastest route to the, out, to the outcome that I want. Like, I'm definitely, if it's like, you know, do 100 more sit-ups, I'm definitely unnecessary. I'm not, not going to do it. Probably says a lot. It's probably why I'm not losing my trails. Those trails are tricky, but you've got to shortcut this transformation. In case so, you've got to take them from that person from the current reality to the desired future. But instead of trying to do it the way where you know in the bit, you know Paddy's here and he needs to look amazing in the future, you actually just map it backwards. Okay, map it from the outcome backwards. So from the desired future, looking amazing on his Wednesday photos or um, you know, the outcome that he, outcome this person wants. You've got to start back. So I'm going to use a better example, this one that everyone can uh, that everyone work with. So um, I'm, a new, I'm a new graduate. I've got to get myself my first job, okay? A new tech, tech start called Thinkific. So how do I do it, okay? You've got to work backwards. And this is where we start mapping these key milestone moments. So a couple of areas when you're uh, trying to get a new job, okay? Uh, so again, thinking about working backwards, interview, okay? So interview, how do you conduct yourself on interview? How do you make sure you address yourself? Uh, how do you make sure you dress? 
Uh, tip from me, I wore a bow tie in my interview for Thinkific, and I see a bow tie in the crowd here. So, uh, so <laughs> trust me, it takes from me, works, works well. Um, how, do you, how do you dress, how do you present yourself? How do you fill in a great application? How do you go and network? How do you go to these, like, these, these tech staff and meetups and, and start uh, collaborating with HR managers or people that are in your uh, sphere of influence? Not a problem that I had in my day because social media wasn't really that much of a thing. I don't think it existed. But you know, you've got to have a crystal clean social media profile now. So party pics have got to go. University pics have got to go. You know, so that's it. Facebook has been completely deleted. And then how do you create a great resume? So you take each one of these major milestone moments and then you do the exact same thing. So you sort of work now one level down. So start with the interview, um, or in this case, uh, a, a good resume. So start from the good resume and work backwards. You need to have great references on there. What constitutes a great reference? Break down the steps. Next, getting feedback. You know, go and speak to employers that maybe have rejected you or recruiters and ask them for feedback and find out what it is that they're looking for. Create a first draft. How do you know when your first draft is ready? Break down those steps. The cover letter. How do you do a cover letter? Break down those steps. Templates, break down steps. And you see, you see what I mean here? So you, when you start working backwards and then you just simply take each major milestone and break that down, I promise you this is the easy way, easiest way to do it. Instead of just writing the A to Z of affiliate marketing, or running a virtual summit, because you're never going to know where to start. So start with the outcome that you want to give to someone first um, before you do anything else. A couple of things that you can do uh, to engage your audience more and to en engage your audience through uh, course creation. Use video, okay? And video is a really, really great way of um, building trust, building authority. You know, always, you know, if you can, always look down the camera, especially if you're presenting, uh, even like a slide deck just like this, for example. And it's shown that ten, like video, using video for 10x um, the engagement you get uh, from your online course. But don't leave it just to what, like a Netflix. You don't want to just set up an on another like smaller version of Netflix with all of your content because, you know, I can, I can only so many times watch Lord of the Rings special edition, like back to back. I've, I've only done two of, two of the three. You know, that's, that's enough for me. So when you're teaching, keep it short, sharp and succinct, but facilitate the practice. So give people something to do, break up the videos, give them an assignment. You know, you can do all the all thing I'm mentioning today you can do through the Thinkific platform, but actually go out there and give people tasks to do. So now you know how to create your first Instagram ad as a, as your, as a first time real tour. Um, I want you now to go and open an account. I want you to do a post and I want you to now tag me in and my business. Then that's how you generate revenue and referrals and stuff like that. Tag me in when you do your first post to give people stuff, stuff to do. Uh, around it because then you know the practice you know it's going to stick I had, a, I had a geography teacher he was an amazing guy amazing amazing guy um but when i when we learned it was always just he would get the book and just read it it was never nothing for me nothing really nothing ever sunk in so always bear that in mind you know give something give people something to do or students something to do when they're going through your course next check in with quizzes quizzes are a great way and don't be a smart smarty pants about it. i was going to say smarty <laughs> hey. <laughs> but we got it's a family, it's a family friendly show here. So um, yeah, you've got to check it, you've got to check in check in with quizzes and keep it keep it short. Just confirm that they've learned. So you say, hey, you know, how did you actually um, you know, now that you know how to create your first post, where do you click on the picture? Or say, look, if you look at this picture, where do you click? A, B, C, or D? And let people just make a, a quick confirmation of what they learned. Don't over overthink it. The first time I created my course was on affiliate marketing for, for small businesses. Link below. No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> um, the one of the biggest mistake I made is that I, I was such a smiley pants about and I was like, how can I literally make this the hardest quiz that I've ever done? I spent more time trying to be a smiley pants than not actually delivering the value. Okay, so, you know, just confirm that learning experience. People like to win. Who doesn't love to win? Put your hands up. And if you're in, uh, in the comments, you can give me a little yes for the timestamp if you like. But it's that thing, you've got that dopamine hit. So you've got to keep people on that, on that track, okay? Super, super important. And you've got to include discussions. So build a community, okay? Build a community either on Facebook, uh, talking today about Slack as well is a great place. 
It's a whole host of um, places that you can go and build communities. Uh, LinkedIn. Now, if you're in the if you're in uh, the business world and you're helping other business owners, um, for example, LinkedIn video right now. And I've just got back from VidCon. Uh, so this was filmed uh, in, in July. Filmed in July. Um, video now is fast becoming their way where they're going to be ranking your content higher above everyone else. So I encourage you, even tonight, just go and record a quick five minute helpful tip that you would give to someone that's looking to um, you know, grow or develop or help them out. Go and do a post on video and you will really see uh, that your, your engagement skyrocket. Because if you've just been doing written posts, I promise you that's really, really gonna work. And I noticed because I had the chance to sit down with all the people who run LinkedIn Live, LinkedIn Video, it's, they really are like doubling down that. But again, get into discussions, get into groups and start helping people. This is really, really important and again, do it from a pace of, of um, authentic, being authentic, okay? Then not just, here's the answer, and you can find a rest out on my you know, $997 course. That's really, let's help more people, and uh, you're gonna be in a much better place. So, hands up, who spent thousands of dollars on equipment before they even sold their first course? Okay, got one, got two, we've got a couple others, okay. So, if you've been trying to figure out what do I actually need to spend my money when I'm creating, like when I'm creating a course, or when I'm um, you know, trying to figure out is this is is my uh, investment being spent uh, wisely? Am I getting the best return investment? Start with just your laptop, okay? Because you don't need to spend a lot of money. Your laptop honestly will do 99% of the job that you're looking to do, unless you've got something that's highly visual and you're in the kitchen, you've got cameras all over, and you're teaching someone how to cook. You might need the odd stand and equipment and stuff like that but don't overspend the okay? cage start small and then work your way up once you start get start seeing returns on your investment uh, a hd camera is great um so there's a this is the logitech logitech c920 hope it's doing a good job for me and i think roger's got the beautification filter on zoom right now so i'm looking <laughs> pretty good i don't know we'll see i'll see when i watch this back um but you know hd video is great but i would also Encourage you if you're going to spend the money the most, is go and do it on a good microphone. Um, actually, you know this uh, the blue is the blue yet is this the Yeti I think yeah this is the Yeti that I'm using right now. It's a fantastic mic. You don't need to spend hundreds of dollars. You just go and, just go and spend a fifty a good fifty dollar mic, you know, and and start from there. But again, you can completely MVP this for your laptop. But if you're going to teach and you're gonna talk on video, or if you're gonna speak on the, over slides, for example, and we've got a voice, we've got a voice coach, and a, vo a voiceover coach here, and voiceover expert in the crowd. So you know that like, the power of the, of the voice is super, super yeah. important. Yeah, you know, and besides, you know, I've got a British accent, which is great here, uh, yeah. but my face, but my face is not so good. So face, was it, was it, Roger? Uh, face, with, face with radio, that's the, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> so next, a uh, couple of things, a couple of, Good tools that you can use okay so you've got screen recording equipment now you can actually use zoom so zoom is completely for free you can record your screen uh, you can host uh, a presentation just like this one download the file it also downloads an audio transcript which you can send off to uh, a place like rev for example and it will create subtitles in just uh, just a few minutes or you can send it off to someone that will do that for you um, you can use Loom. I use Loom day to day when I'm doing like outreach. So if I'm going to work with a partner that I've not spoken with before, I'll drop them a quick video. Hey, it's Paddy there. Great to, uh, you know, um, Rachel, I hear you help stressed out entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs, um, you know, take control of their life again. But I want to show you how you can 10x your reach by using online courses. Are you free for a, a quick chat in the, next, you know, in the next week or so? And what you find again, using video is a really, really great way to do it. Because again, like how many emails do we get a day? Which is like, hey there, insert article name. Or, hey there, first name, I saw your insert article name. It was really good, do you want to have a chat? Let's, you know, let's build an authentic, if we're talking about building an authentic relationship, do it through video. Uh, and using something like Loom is really good. And again, you can just embed it in Gmail and you get like the animated preview and everything else that comes with it. You can use screencast the manic you can use ScreenFlow, and this is like more editing tools. I know we've got a few video specialists here, so probably look at my, the tools going, oh no, gotta use uh, something a bit more pro. But you know, when you're starting out, you can, some of these basics right now uh, are gonna be just, uh, just a way to give you the leg up that you need. And then later down the line, you can reinvest 
uh, and find a specialist who's going to be able to, uh, you know, decipher a cryptic message and make it more uh, friendly for your customers. Ingrid. Justin, if it have any video editing or tools of that nature, does it come with a pencil? Um, so you can upload videos directly into Thinkific. Oh, sorry, my apologies. So uh, the question was, does Thinkific have the ability to edit videos uh, within the app? The answer is no, but you can upload videos uh, directly from uh, like YouTube, um, Vimeo as well. People use Vimeo accounts they uh, insert that video within a particular lesson type. You can actually do a bulk import of all of your, pretty much all your content. So audio files, PDFs and videos, drag and drop them in, and it's done pretty much instantly. And if you've got a, we have a video library uh, as well, so you can connect up Google Drive, Facebook, um, Amazon Cloud Drive, it's a whole host of different areas. Uh, and actually, if you do it that way, it's really, really quick, because it's like server to server, rather than you know your computer, and whatever speed that you get. But remember this, when you're creating your lessons, okay, keep it focused, keep it simple, and iterate over time. Done is always, always gonna be better than perfect. Trust me when I say this, I know, and I can see, definitely see a few perfectionists uh, out there. So just get it out there and ask for the feedback from your, your audience, okay? Really, really, really important. Ask them for feedback, tell them what they're like and what they're not liking. Uh, I sorry, my apologies. Find out what they're like and what they're not like. So, pick the course topic, validate there's market demand. We now know how to create the lessons, and I hopefully that's uh, this really really helps some people out today uh, that join us live. And um, next, we've got to build the course. So now, so before we're wondering, we're going to go into a big 40-minute tech demo of Thinkific. I says no, but what I want to do is quickly dive in, just give you a couple of screen grabs of what. The platform looks like uh, and just let you know that it really is a piece of cake to use I presume there are a few think of it users uh, in the room as well who I'm sure after this can attest to just how easy it is but you can, you can create everything to uh, match your own design and brand so if you've got a WordPress site you can connect it up to there you can import um, again all of your content within just a few clicks um, again for us it's really key that you're keeping the branding on your own terms so unlike places like Udemy which don't get me wrong, are great for generating leads and finding out if your competition uh, has a course or if it's you know if there's a market if there's a market for what you're going to teach. Doing things on your own on your own brand, your own terms, and your own pricing is much much better. And again, you're able to help out um, you know more people. Um, you can do membership sites, any other sales and marketing tools. You can drop them notifications once they complete a course. There's so many things. Affiliate marketing. There's like Tons and tons and tons of stuff. But take it from me, you can create, market, and sell your first or next online course with Thinkific. And you can actually start completely for free. No restrictions. The only restriction actually is like, it's just not unlimited courses. You're limited to just free. But you can sell your first course. You can get started. You can import all your content. And we've got a lot of people that have actually started straight away from doing that. So, yeah. But stick around to the end because we've got a really, really great bonus that I encourage you all to uh, take part of. And again, one of the things that sets apart is that we want to try and make this the best student experience. So we're always, always, always doing everything we can to listen to our, to our course grades. We've got 36,000 of them. We've got big businesses like Hootsuite who are teaching things like um, uh, social media. We've got Andrews in the, in the audience as well who's teaching uh, e-commerce and, and helping people that way. So it, it doesn't matter. It's all different types of topics. And again, the focus of us is for helping them get the best out of the platform. So now I know we sort of know how to think, how to build it on Thinkific, but again, stick around to, to the end because I'm going to be uh, got a really great bonus for everyone that wants to know how to do that. But now we need to figure out how to market and sell the course, okay? And um, your online course is a strong foundation for your overall like marketing strategy, okay? But there's always this big myth with online courses, and I'm sure everyone knows this that you know you've got to have this like huge launch, okay? Right. Yeah, six figure launch, seven figure launch. I'm gonna show you how to sit in front of a Ferrari and throw Canadian dollars in the air in no time, okay? That's fine. I mean, don't get me wrong, any day ending and why, that's that's good for me. Um, but when you're when you create a launch and just like this this rocket ship here, SpaceX, definitely SpaceX, um, there's so many moving parts to a launch. You've got joint venture partners, 
you've got people maybe you've buddied up with who can help you know uh, administer your course create your emails there's so many different like parts moving parts if one of them doesn't work then you know it's not going to launch or it's going to have a failure to launch or you know if it's coming back down to earth like one of his reusable rockets it might blow up so we don't want that to happen right we don't want that to happen so don't need to do a big launch but when you are creating your course and your content and your online presence you need a customer journey okay and every one of your customers is going to go on a journey that's going to lead them from buying uh, to buying a course and there's three steps usually there's a lot of debate around this there's you know aida and all these other things but the buyer's journey really at its core looks like this the awareness stage so people are aware they've got a problem that needs solving or um a challenge that they need to overcome the consideration stage is something where they um you know they're currently in the prospect they now know they've got a problem they are thinking that you as a person or a course creator could help them uh, get the outcome that they're looking for and then the decision stage they've whittled it down to maybe one or two other different course creators about a particular topic and now they're going to pull the trigger so your goal is to get them through from the, the very start to the very end. But don't, but just, in, I was saying earlier in these communities saying, buy my course, it's not gonna work every step at a time, okay? It's only gonna work for around two, two to three percent because that's really when your target market are ready to buy. So for the ones that are ready to buy, take them all the way through straight away. The ones that aren't, you need to cultivate, you need to again, build a relationship up that's gonna take them through this funnel. So to reach 100% of them, you need to create content at every single stage of this buyer's journey. And again, your sales funnel is a series of steps that guide your prospective customers from awareness stage to the decision-making stage. Once you've done that, you can create these steps out of the content and concepts from your online course. So if you've, already, if you've got a master course you've already created and you've got a, um, let's say, like a quick five-point guide on how to prepare yourself to know that you're ready to take this course, you could create that as a freebie. So using uh, the John Lee Dumas example before, he has a free course, free mini course that he gives away as a lead magnet to capture that email address. And then he puts you into his own marketing funnel where he'll do a webinar and then he'll upsell you onto a premium course. Bear in mind, obviously, you know, the earlier someone is within their journey, the smaller the risk and the commitment that they're willing to make. You know, we've all been on first dates, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <for a> long time. <laughs> just for just for the record, it covers it not for a long time. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? No, that just got me done. Okay. So yes, go ahead. Yes, I, I'm gonna actually that's gonna be part of both. So the question is, do I have any advice in pricing? Uh, we have a bonus at the end. We're gonna it's gonna talk about that. So uh, stay tuned. Now, when you're creating your, your content, it's gonna, it's gonna achieve a particular goal within this funnel. So the top of funnel is gonna be the awareness stage. And this is where you've gotta educate your audience and get them to start thinking about that they've got a problem or start to, wherever that, that pain is, it's gotta start radiating and hurting them even more. And now it's gotta be solved. Um, next, the consideration stage. So this is again, where you start capturing, maybe you create that free course, a free mini course, and you capture that email address. Uh, and you give them some content to help them along the way. And then the conversion stage is where you create the sales. We so take the card details or you sign them up onto your membership site uh, and go from there. Now, let's use uh, a quick example here of the different types of uh, content you can create. So top of funnel, blogs, podcasts, videos, social media and ads. Middle of funnels can be checklists, uh, worksheets, short guides, quizzes, mini courses as well. Uh, can be used for, many of the, uh, for middle of the funnel. And bottom of the funnel is going to be webinars, video recordings, free trials, uh, giving people a taste of what the premium content is about. Um, but remember, each stage of the journey, you need to be asking these questions. Every single time you create a piece of content, this part of the funnel, ask yourself these questions. What, are they, what is that student or what is that user thinking about? What information is going to be relevant and helpful for them at this particular point. Don't think too far ahead. How can you help them achieve what it is that they're looking for there and then in that moment? And how can you make sure that it's delivered in the format that they want? So either a quiz, a video, a worksheet, and what's the next step you need to guide them to? So you can't just say like, hey, download, download my five point guide, and then they never hear from you again. What's next? Okay, so start thinking about that. It's really, really important. 
Uh, let's use Rover. Rover. Rover here has been a really, really bad dog, and we need to uh, need, need some discipline. So uh, what do I need to do? Okay, he's been biting the couch all day. Top of the funnel. How do you train your dog to stop chewing your furniture? Next, middle of the funnel, is a PDF checklist. Ten commands every dog needs to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Webinar presentation. Five steps to train your dog in 60 days or less, or 90 days. I can't read on here. Fast. But um, a long time. So <laughs> once you start creating your content like this, and again, you're leading that person down that funnel, down that journey, you're creating a sales funnel that respects the buyer's journey at every single step of the point uh, of the process. And then that's when you can then start promoting your other course content, creating adverts and uh, delivering your message there. So recap everyone, online courses, again, it's a great way to repurpose existing content you've already got. So if you've got videos, if you've got existing guides, worksheets, you can create them and turn them into an online course. Um, it allows you to obviously generate great, great, great amount of qualified leads. Because again, you can use things like surveys during your course and understand and figure out exactly what people are looking for. Um, it's great for partners. Uh, you know, think of it, we do a lot of work with the Bank of the Business Network and uh, Iman's uh, business as well. And uh, you know, he promotes Thinkific, you know, and we promote his courses from time to time. So you know, courses really are a great way of um, building up affiliate revenue, partnership revenue, joint venture revenue. Really, really good. And uh, again, it's a great way to build leverage and trust. So um, just, think of, just think about the outcome that you're giving someone. What's an outcome that you can give them? Give them a transformation that they're looking for and then go and get a review from them. So the moment they've got it, the moment they're happy and they've got the outcome, you should be asking straight away, you know, how was that experience? What could I do better? And start getting as many reviews as you possibly can. Can't stress that enough. Because once you do a pre-launch and you go to a bigger, and you go to like a main course launch, the more reviews and testimonies I have, uh, the better uh, along the way. So thank you, everyone. And I uh, open this up to, uh, oh, thank you very much. It opens up to uh, questions and answers for the moment. Roger, I know you've got lots of questions. <laughs> yes. Pricing. Yes. So is, have you set your set, so the course, so the question is how do we price our course? So one of the things that I would say, first of all, is like, set, have you set yourself a revenue goal in mind? Like what you would like to earn? Yeah. So what I would do, start from your, start from your revenue goal. So let's say um, if you want to earn $10,000, for example, um, start breaking it down into, okay, to get $10,000, I need to sell my course at either, let's say like $500, $300, $200, dollars Start breaking it down and start seeing based on, again, the market research that you do for the courses uh, that you're looking to teach, where does that fit in? And then look to see that the value that you're offering, uh, any additional value that you're putting on top can also raise that price. But uh, as a gift, actually, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna still stick with the questions, but as a gift for everyone here, uh, for joining us, um, for join us on, uh, join us on the replay, um, and for everyone here, I'm actually giving away um, one month free on Thinkific Pro. It's worth 800, all this whole package is worth $894. Um, you get an online education business masterclass. We taught this live for five weeks at the start of the year with a group of people. So we know this works and this has actually helped people launch really, really successful online courses. Uh, we're gonna show you exactly how to price your course. This was set up by our founder, Greg Smith, who's the CEO of Thinkific. You know, he was a teacher at UBC. Um, he wanted to help more people at scale. People were coming up to him every time saying, hey, I'd love to learn from you outside of the classroom. How can we do that? He built his first course from, excuse me, he built his first course, AlphaScore, coded from scratch. And then people were messaging him saying, how do I actually do that myself? And that's how, you know, almost 10 years later, how Thinkific's been born. And then we're going to jump, and then we can jump on a call with you of the launch specialist. If you've got any questions about the platform, we're here to help. And, uh, and that's it. And then we'll, we'll dive back into some more Q&A. I've asked a friend to come over. He's a software developer. Yeah. And I begged him to start making courses. And, and so I've been texting him and saying, <laughs> if you show up here, you'll get one month of professional mm -hmm. package for free. So his question is, how far could anybody get? Really far. Like if you, like we had the thing is we've got, we have three, yes. So how's the question is, so 
for uh, the question is how can someone how within 30 days and using this offer how far could someone get um, we've had people launch a course within lots of people launch courses within 30 days the idea is that we have templates preset templates that you can just press like go and then it's just fill in the blanks so the idea is that now you're for so the question uh, Ingrid's friend software developers thinking of creating a course in 30 days uh, the, the question or the statement I have back to you is uh, ask him to start building uh, a network or start talking with people right now who are interested in learning from him or her. Thank you. Roger. Uh, my challenge is I, I have the knowledge, but it's all up here. I don't have time to get it somewhere else. Is there a Thinkific facility where I can give it to somebody? who understands the platform, who will write the program, I'll be involved, yeah. tweak here, tweak there, after we validated the market. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the question Roger's asked, is there, are there, uh, is there like a, a group of experts or, or Thinkific professionals that uh, could build his course and his Thinkific course site? Absolutely, uh, and in fact, to be, be a Thinkific expert, you've got to only use our product and um, the people that are currently experts on our platform, um, they, they, they only work with us and we give them like very, very like, like you gave them like very like amazing access to our platform way, way earlier before most of our, our, cust our general customers get. So they can really get to grips with how it's gonna work and uh, to help guide you on your course creation journey as well. So true answer is yes. Great. So the thing to do is take advantage of your offer, yeah. hook up with a, uh, course creator yeah and see what can happen in 30 days yeah so so roger so right so roger in roger's particular instance take advantage of the trial um and then i will be in touch because your situation is unique and i'll show you what you need uh what you need to do next but for anyone else out there thinking of taking trial um we have a full process from a to z a to z on um how to get started and how to launch in 30 days in fact we had a challenge called 30 and 30 so uh, we know it can be done. So yeah, I'm not totally clear. You do have a team that can somebody. These are independent them. experts. So the, that you outsource to. Yes. To. That's right. So we have a so it's our own page. It's at the bottom of our Think of site. Think of experts, and then that's independent course creators. But these are people that love our platform. They've been pre vetted, uh, and we've got a long term relationship with them. So it's not just. I'm an expert, but actually I'm just going to create a course on another platform or, you know, give you bad advice. These are people that we've got significant relationships with and not because we take a fee and not because we, um, you know, that, that's, that's our interest, like money. It's not really it. We just want to make sure that course creators get served the best. Thanks. Cool. So. Can you go back to the offer? Yeah, oh, yes. Really so one month from Think of It Pro and Growth. So it's all of our best features. You get the online education business masterclass. Uh, it's basically a five, essentially a five week program com uh, compacted into an online course. How to price your course with Greg Smith. And then you get an onboarding call of our launch specialist. So I just want to say thank you everyone. It's been a tremendous honor to do uh, actually my first talk here for the Vancouver Business Network. And uh, I hope to do many more. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. you and I get in the same square together because we have to click our thing and we have somebody else we need to thank, and that is Ion Connect. Ion Connect, thank you so much. Who has made the reproduction of Patty's talk uh, possible. Thank you, Ion Connect. Thank you, Ion Connect. Thanks everyone.